Hey everybody, this is my 40 gallon native tank and I've just been over here doing a little bit of work to it. I got the glass cleaned up and I changed out the filter, got the pump running back up to full volume. In fact, it's running at such full volume I had to put a rock up on the top there to slow the water flow down or it was splashing all over the place. I'll show you that in just a minute. But what we're going to be talking about in this video is the nitrate and the woodwork and denitrification. So we're going to take a dip strip test here that one on the very end is the one we're going to be looking at and as it gets pinker that will indicate the nitrate level and I don't have the bottle in front of me but I'm not suspecting that it's going to do much in the way of changing color and you'll get to see over the next minute or so how that doesn't really indicate a whole lot in the way of nitrate we're going to just set that off to the side for a moment here and if you see this test this is the api test i took of this tank just a few minutes ago and it's starting to get a little brown because it's been sitting for a little while but it indicated about five parts per million uh, nitrate or something to that effect and i haven't done a water change on this tank in i don't even know how long you can see that sunfish right there front and center is not a small fish by any means i've got two fairly large crayfish in this tank and even though they tend to spend a lot of their time hiding i do have a bunch of gambusia or mosquito fish in the back i probably have uh, 15 maybe 18 mosquito fish in here that are not insignificant they're like large full-grown guppies and in addition to the crayfish and the sunfish that makes it you know it's not an insignificant stocking density in this tank it's not a heavily stocked tank but it's not a lightly stocked tank either and yet here we are after weeks and weeks without a water change and yet you can see i'm getting virtually no color change it's the slightest little tiny bit of pink uh, that does not even register the first indicator on these dip strips. These things are not super precise. They give you a very generalized ballpark of what's going on in the aquarium. And as I was expecting, we got almost no color change from it at all. And that's exactly what I wanted to show you. That's all the precision we need is just to show you that I'm getting almost no nitrate built up in this tank. So why is that? My only conclusion could be that it is due to the denitrification based on the i can't call it a deep substrate i don't know how well you can see that but we're getting an awful lot of splash over on the front there which is exactly why i've got this rock on there within a day or two the water flow will be reduced enough that i can take that rock back off of there and we'll have nice water flow without it splashing everywhere but i did want to give you a look at what that actually looks like um so i've got no way to explain it i you know the, there's a big conversation about whether or not denitrification is something that can even be done in a home aquarium some people argue that it cannot other people say that it can my experience so far has been that not only can it be done in a home aquarium environment, it's actually very, very easy to do in a home aquarium environment. Now, is it worth setting up your tank to denitrify itself? And what are the benefits? What are the pros? What are the cons? Because it's not necessarily just brush your hands off and you're done because you don't have nitrate developing in the tank and we're going to talk more about that later i just wanted to point out once again that after weeks and weeks of not doing any water change and not really having any other way to explain it i just don't have nitrate building up in this tank i feed this tank about three times a week with uh blood worms and I'm not shy about the way I feed it. I put algae wafers in there for the crayfish. I put shrimp pellets in there. I put flake food in there every night. And again, we've got a fairly significant stocking density. And yet, after weeks of no water change, I've got almost no nitrate. And I have no way to explain that. Now, when I've talked about this in the past, I've had people immediately 
say that the woodwork is somehow responsible for that and that the woodwork is what is removing uh, the nitrate from this tank. And I don't know what they mean by that. I don't know how wood would remove nitrate. We're not talking about growing plants here. And, you know, growing plants only have a limited function in absorbing uh, nitrate. They're not the magic that everybody seems to think they are. And if you'll notice in this tank, I have very little in the way of growing plants. So the plant uh, growth is definitely not a way to explain where the nitrate is going. But again, I've had a lot of people suggest that all of this huge piece of wood in here is somehow responsible for the lack of nitrate buildup. I really, really do not know how that would work. I don't know what the wood is supposed to be doing to the nitrate or whether the wood's absorbing it or converting it. Again, if you're one of those people that has suggested that the woodwork has something to do with why this tank does not accumulate nitrate, Please elaborate. Please explain to me what it is that the woodwork is supposed to be doing that is preventing the nitrate from accumulating in this tank because I have absolutely no way of explaining it other than the denitrification process. And again, we'll go into what that actual process is and how it works uh, over time. I just wanted to chat about this tank a little bit while I was in here working on it tonight. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget, I do have another channel, Dan's Outdoors and More, where I put, obviously, my outdoorsy type videos and stuff like that. So if you're interested, you can check that out. I do memberships now, and I also accept super thanks if you're interested in showing your appreciation. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you real soon on the next one.